But there's one game that both the rich and the poor play, but how they play it differ. And that is Ludo. Have you seen the way rich men play Ludo? When they are playing Ludo with their wife or with their friend. How were you? Cray. Cray. They roll dice twice. Cray. Cray. By the time they pour, you will see six five. Or six six. Have you seen the way a poor man rolls dice? He rolls it as if there is a problem. He cray, he cray, he cray, he cray, he cray. Move as I know, yeah. He cray, he cray. They will transfer from the left hand to the right hand. He cray, he cray. They will blow please inside. He cray, he cray. By the time they pour it, you will see one one. For account. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are happy to be here tonight, can you please put your hands together for yourselves? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Damola is my name. I'm very excited to be here tonight. Pencil Unbroken. Pencil. That name reminds me of school. Ladies and gentlemen, when I am done with this joke, you will know the category of these individuals that you fall under. In every school, there are different types of students. Ladies and gentlemen, there are some students when it is time for exam. Their work is to sit in front. They sit in front. They come early to the exam. By the time the exam starts, they are always too confident. If you copy them, you cannot see them to copy. If you ask, they will not answer you. By the time the result comes out, you will see 75A. There are some other students. They know that they are going to fail. They stroll into the exam hall and sit at the back. They collect the answer sheet and they sleep off. They wake up 15 minutes after, write one or two things, and go and submit. The invigilator will look at their script like this and ask this question, are you sure you are done? <laughs> if they ask you that question, just know that you are failing. There are another set of students, their own work is to cover their book. They will cover everything and they will still fail. Are you serious? I'm serious. Please don't put that thing in between. Thank you for your anticipated cooperation. They will still fail. There are some students, their own is to arrange formation. Immediately they enter the exam. You sit down here. Me, I will sit down here. You, you will sit down here. The only way to solve the problem, remove somebody in the middle. That's all. <laughs> there are some other sets of students. They don't read before the exam. They read two hours to the exam and they will not start cramming. You start hearing things like, a now is the name of any person, animal, place, or thing. A now is the name of any person, animal, place, or thing. A now is the name of any person, animal, place, or thing. The only way to destabilize them, just shake them. Baba Afa, he, ha. <laughs> but the worst set of students that I don't really like, they don't read them. They don't prepare for anything. Ladies and gentlemen, by the time they enter the exam hall, they come into the exam with confidence as if they know something. Baba Afa, you don't read that in a minute while I will go kill her. They will now sit at a strategic position looking for a particular person that is writing. Immediately they cite the person. It is finished for that person. No? You will just start hearing something like this. <laughs> Baba Afa. <laughs> they don't give up. Oh. You will now say, wait here. Oh. They will say, Abe, come teach me. Ah. Teach you which one? Everything. Ha! Ah. You will not tell the person. They say we should answer three out of five. The guy will say, eh, eh. You say, ah, you don't read that. You say, eh. I beg anyone, just help me. The guy will not be looking at you. You now say, you are trying to avoid the vigilator. You are trying to do your own. You are trying to help the person. You now say, listen, I beg. Number one. Well, a noun. The guy will say, eh, ah. A noun is the name, eh, 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 eh of, eh, eh. Any person, eh, eh, animal, you say animal, you say eh, place, eh, eh, or eh, eh, thing. Yeah, we say eh, eh, you say yes. You will now wait for three seconds. You now hear Baba, you wait here for me. I beg you, if you help me spare a eh, now is the name of. 
And you know, there are different types of invigilators too, in every exam. There are some invigilators that don't care. If you like copy, it's not their business. If you like cheat, that is your blood. The only is when they say, pen up in your own best of interest, do what now? Submit. If you don't submit, you will mark your script by yourself. There are some invigilators, they always wear big shirt and dark glasses. You will think they are sleeping. They don't leave one spot. People will think that they are sleeping. You now start seeing people feeling at home. They will be copying themselves. The next you just say, after one hour, you just say, that boy wearing green at the back, I will send you away. There are some other set of invigilators. They are members of DSS. They must catch somebody. Immediately they enter the exam. Of, hey, you, that boy, stand up. They must see something in your pocket. There are some other invigilators. Their own work is to scatter formation. Immediately they enter the exam. Of, I say, you stand up. Go and sit down there. You stand up. You will now start looking at the pan. The author and finisher of your problem. But the worst set of invigilators are the ones I don't like. They enter the exam of one hour, 45 minutes into a two hour paper. They will now start walking up and down. After you have written everything you know. They will now stop somewhere. They will now start reading what you are writing. As they are reading, you, you will look up. You will look at your paper. You will look up again. You will focus on your paper. The man will look at it again. He will just nod his head. You will just hear, some of you are writing nonsense. <laughs> Read the question well. You are just wasting your father's money. And you know, the rich in the society are very deliberate about everything that they do. The rich men in the society, they don't behave anyhow. They are very particular about the food they eat, the clothes they wear, the parties they attend, the friends they keep. Even the kinds of games that appeal to the rich are very few. E.g. God. You cannot see a poor man playing God. What does he know they are using that stick for? Maybe to kill rat. When you want to play golf, what does golf do for you? It helps you in strategic thinking. It helps you to cover kilometers. It helps you to build character. You even have golf clubs. When you want to play golf, you don't shout. You have dead two man discussions. How much is the contract? 100 billion. I will do the transfer next week. That is how they play golf. Another, and if you want to play golf, you have uniform. Nice polo shirt. Talking like capsule. Wear a nice face cap and your kid, and you are fine. Another rich man's game is chess. You can be in front of a chessboard for three hours, and all you are doing is strategic thing. Another rich man's game is polo. You have not bought power. You want to buy horse. How? But you see the other way around. You don't need a uniform. All you need is a tree. A bench and about 50 people around you. I am talking about draft. <laughs> Have you seen the way they play draft? They will not start involving your mother that knows nothing about Professor Reno. Yeah. What concerns your mother with the issue of draft? But there's one game that both the rich and the poor play, but how they play it differ. And that is Ludo. Have you seen the way rich men play Ludo? When they are playing Ludo with their wives or with their friends. How are you? Cray. Cray. They roll dice twice. Cray. Cray. By the time they pour, you will see six five. Or six six. Have you seen the way one man rolls dice? He rolls it as if there is a problem. He cray. He cray. He cray. He cray. He cray. Move as I know. Yeah. He cray. He cray. They will transfer from the left hand to the right hand. He cray. He cray. They will blow please inside. He cray. He cray. By the time they pour it, you will see one one. That one is my name of a beautiful night. I beg, when I help me, they share the video, they comment, they like. Thank you. Thank you.
comedians say so.